back? Okay. Beautiful morning. Thank you all for being here. <clears throat> Mayor Cassetti, veterans, invited friends and guests, it is an honor and a privilege. As a son of a World War II veteran and the grandson of a World War I veteran, I have always admired and respected our veterans. When I enlisted in the Army at the age of 18, I had no idea of the devotion and patriotism I would be exposed to. Veterans are so very highly regarded because they embody those values which we hold most dearly as a nation. Every service has a common set of values. Those that I have lived for the last 30 years in the Army and Army National Guard are loyalty, bear true faith and allegiance to the U.S. Constitution, the Army, and other soldiers, be loyal to the nation and its heritage, duty, fulfill your obligations regardless of how difficult, Respect. How we consider others reflects upon each of us, both personally and professionally. Honor. Honesty and fairness in one's beliefs and actions. Integrity. Doing what is right both legally and morally. Personal courage. Our ability to face fear, danger, or adversity, both physical and moral courage. Specifically, not doing the easy wrong, but the hard right. Selfless service. Put the welfare of the nation, the state of Connecticut, and your community before your own. As president and veteran John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. On many occasions, I've had the honor and privilege of serving with and working for these veterans, especially men like General Brian Phipps of Ansonia, General Mascolo of Derby, and Sergeant Major Skaronsky, all of the Valley. These men were the embodiment, are the embodiment of these values. During my deployment to Afghanistan, I was humbled to look across the dining facility with more than 300 service members from the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, all there with the single purpose of defending America thousands of miles away from home on the other side of the world. It was an honor and a privilege just to be there with them. Previously, during my tour in Iraq, I witnessed that death in Iraq could be random and indiscriminate. Indiscriminate mortar and rocket attacks with no military benefit, only designed to harass civilians and non-combatants. One such attack occurred on the 20th of May, 2005 at Victory Base Camp, Baghdad. A Katusha 122mm rocket from 10 miles away slammed into the middle of the base camp just yards away from where I was standing. I had just walked behind a concrete blast wall, which is probably the only reason I am still standing here today. And ever since that day, I am just happy to be alive. I would like to thank you all for coming here today. I just want to leave you with one thing. We should never forget, we live in the land of the free because of the brave. Thank you all.